So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about gender. This is it. Doing gender, I mean, it doesn't matter if you associate being female or male or another diverse gender. You still have a biological sex and that's separate from who you are as a business person. So we need to stop that. Because what you see is not what you get. So if I told you that I think that those of you who saw the, the um, face here will be more likely to see the face there next time. Those of you who saw the young woman there are more likely to see the young woman next time. So you, you kind of make the picture become what you think the picture should be. And with people, we do exactly the same thing. My son only got blue clothes from people. Only, or stripy. My daughter got this cutie cutie dresses, pink, dotted, flowery stuff. So that's how it starts. From right the second you're born, it starts like that. And then, from there on, we start to nurture the gender within the person. So you can de-nurture, if you like, your gender by believing that you can do all of those things, being assertive, be good in business, be good in quantitative domains, be a fabulous entrepreneur. You can change all that. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but there are very few fathers or mothers that sit down with their daughters to talk about finance, to talk about investing. That is much more something that they do with their sons. If we allowed everybody, this is women, to reach their full potential, which means they work at equal par in employment and business as men, we would add 28 trillion US dollars to the world economy by 2025. So why are we not doing that? That number is so big that it's the GDP of the US and China combined. Everybody knows these numbers, but still we haven't done it. But we can, we can do it.